But lucky for you guys, I know of a secret passageway. And most people do not know what's on the other side of this. We are in Queenstown today. Queenstown is known as the adventure capital of the world, the self-described adventure capital of the world. There's a lot of things to do here, a lot of the same touristy things, jet boats and bungee jumping and a lot of things. And if you just wanna to stick to the traditional Queenstown experience, by all means have at it. But today, we are gonna be exploring some lesser known hidden gems. And look at those mountains behind me. Lots of hidden gems among the mountains of Queenstown. We're gonna get up in some nifty little cracks today and I am excited to bring you along. So we're gonna be starting off on this Mount Crichton loop track up that way. I'm not sure if we're gonna do the whole loop because I think we're gonna get off the track and see what we can find. So this is the first sort of slot canyon looking thing that we've come across. It's off to the left side of the trail and it actually is pretty cool. It doesn't actually go anywhere, but what it actually is, is a sluice way from when this area was being mined for gold. Common practice was they would dynamite these massive cracks through the rock to get the water to flow through, thus making it easier for the gold mining process. Most of them don't lead anywhere interesting. However, there is one in particular that I wanna show you. One of the things I like about this track is that a lot of it is elevated high above this little canyon down here. Beautiful views of the water and then the ridge lines above and then eventually you can go higher up into the mountains and stuff. I believe there's a lake further up as well. But I'm really wanting to get down and explore some more of that. But lucky for you guys, I know of a secret passageway. So this is what they call the tunnel, a giant sluiceway. Gold miners blew through this cliff so they can run water and, and sand and dirt so they could do gold mining several hundred years ago. But now what this is, is actually a secret passageway. This will take us back to the river. And most people do not know what's on the other side of this that I'm about to show you. And the name, the tunnel, is actually a bit of a misnomer because it's actually more like a slot at this point because most of the roof has collapsed. There's just a tiny little bit up there hanging on. Mainly a slot, but still called the tunnel because initially when they blasted through the rock, it was a tunnel. Now we take this little side trail down to the river and go upstream a bit to show you what I'm really excited to show you. Man, that water is cold. Last time the flow wasn't as high, so I think I was able to rock hop to get to the other side, but wait till you see what is right up here. Woo! Amazing! A secret passageway to a hidden waterfall! 
What? So you got the main falls over there with what looks to be a nice sized pool. Possibly if you can get up to the top, possibly some jumps. But then you got this little side creek over here with even more cool stuff. I love that place. It's one of my favorite little hidden gems that we've found in New Zealand. So peaceful. Might have to come back with a wetsuit and see if we can get up there and jump off that waterfall into that cliff. What do you think? I wonder if gold miners like waterfalls. Yeah, it's a waterfall over there, mate. Hey, eh? A gold waterfall? Yeah, nah. So back up on the Mount Crichton loop track and they have uh, Sam Summers hut here. So this is an old gold mining hut. So it's a pretty cool stop right before the bridge where the, the track starts to loop back on the other side of the creek here. But this is pretty cool. The first time we were here, Sam was like, oh, we could stay in this. You can. I know, it's but free. you're worried about bed bugs at the Mueller hut, oh, but on. you want to sleep on a burlap sack That's bed. only because they had a bed bug outbreak. I wasn't worried about it before. That. I got news for you. This place has had a bed bug outbreak as well. Oh. It does kind of remind me of Nepal though with the uh, tarp insulation. I think it's charming. Yeah? Yeah. I'll get you a good deal on it. That hut, nice little piece of history, and then kind of the official waterfall that's known on the track right here from the from the bridge where the track goes around, loops back to the parking area. Nice waterfall, but it's not a hidden waterfall. You can see Lake Dispute down here and then Lake Wakatipu, the main lake in Queenstown out there. So pretty awesome little adventure. Plenty more little nooks and crannies. Might have to come back with a wetsuit and see uh, what kind of trouble I can get into. Do you guys love hidden waterfalls? I know you do. But let me know by hitting that like button, <laughs> right? Plenty more coming from New Zealand. Get out there, find your adventure and be infamous. Infamous.